Hey there, this is Dave from PC Gamer, and I'm getting all nerdly excited about the most minute demonstration of Intel's upcoming Old Lake CPU. So this is the first 10 nanometer desktop processor from the big blue chip manufacturer, and it's set to arrive on our PC sometime in the second half of the year. So that's a, a big old launch window, but this could be one of the most complicated launches of recent Intel history, the most risky, and potentially the most important. So you can see why it's giving itself about six months of leeway there. So Old Lake is the architecture that will either get Intel back ahead of its AMD rivals, or else doom it to second place for another few generations, at least. So at Intel's computing press conference of CES, it made only the briefest of nods towards desktop chips, with a quick shout out for Rocket Lake and a passing shot of executive VP Gregory Bryant standing next to a PC he assured us housed an Alder Lake CPU actually up and running in a Windows environment. Intel says Alder Lake represents a significant breakthrough in the x86 architecture as the most power scalable chip that it, with its super combo of high performance and high efficiency cores baked into one product. So it's basically the same big little technique that Intel used with the Lakefield notebook chip last year. So we don't really know a huge amount about the old Lake CPUs aside from the basics of its hybrid design, but Intel did announce that it's built on an enhanced version of its 10 nanometer Superfin processor with speedier transistors and improved MIM capacitors for capaciting. So does that mean we're on 10 nanometer Superfin Plus, Superfin E for advanced, but probably pronounced super fan? Or are we just sticking with enhanced 10 nanometer Superfin? I don't really know yet, but it's it's a new version of Superfin that's mildly enhanced. Unfortunately, we didn't see any hard numbers directly comparing all the to the competition. So this is literally an it's powered on, it's mostly working kind of demo with engineering sample processors rather than anything near resembling final silicon. But we do still know some other specs for the top all the late chip. With eight powerful Golden Cove cores, the next-gen successor to the Willow Cove design currently running in Tiger Lake, and eight power-efficient Gracemont cores, those next-gen Atom cores, will end up with a hybrid 16-core CPU design. There will be some hyper-threading involved, but according to early mentions in benchmark databases, only the high-end cores will get it. That will then deliver an offset 24-thread hybrid CPU that's going to provide a lot of power for multi-threaded tasks and a lot of challenges for software. Alder Lake's hybrid approach aims to give AMD's Ryzen chips a run for their money, but it's really all going to come down to what the risky hybrid chips actually look like to the Windows operating system. Will Microsoft's scheduler be smart enough to always push the vital processes to the big powerful cores, or are we going to see a confused OS not knowing where to turn and app and game performance potentially suffering because of it? The hardware might be outstanding, but if the software side isn't nailed down with Alder Lake, it could be a real non-starter. But if Intel can work with Microsoft to smooth out the kinks, and it could be a mighty new chip. Either way, Alder Lake's an incredibly exciting architecture, however it turns out. So we'll have more techie news for you from CES 2021 as it happens, but for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.